Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at this Gen Y Torsion 2 ball mount with stacked receivers. This is going to allow you to hook your trailer up to your towed vehicle. This will slide right into your 2 inch by 2 inch trailer hitch receiver on your vehicle. As you can see, we do have two uh, 5 8 inch diameter hitch pin holes so that you can put your pin through there, make sure it's not going to wiggle its way out uh, as you're going down the road. It does not include a pin and clip. Uh, we do have lots of options available here at eTrailer.com if you don't already have one. And we also have locking pins available if you want to add a little extra security, make sure no one can take off with this. But then at the front, we are going to have several different uh, ways of connecting to your trailer. So this is going to allow you to uh, tow multiple kinds of trailers. Uh, so we've got a 2-inch ball, a 2 and 5 16th inch ball, and then a ball paired with the pintle lock here, so whether your trailer has a 2 and uh, two inch ball coupler, or 2 and 5 16 inch ball coupler, or a lunette ring, uh, this will work for you. So that's going to give you a lot of options there on what kind of trailers you can tow. So if you are uh, using this for work or something where you're going to be towing multiple different kinds of trailers, it's going to give you a lot of variety in what kind you can haul. This is going to be a heavy duty steel construction. Uh, Gen Y does have a great reputation for building very solid, robust products. Uh, this is no exception. Uh, definitely going to be something that you're, you'll want to leave on your vehicle. You're not going to want to have to take this off all the time. Uh, but because it is so heavy duty, it is going to give us a, a gross towing weight capacity with our two inch ball of 16,000 pounds and a maximum tongue weight of 1,500 pounds. With our two and five sixteenth inch ball, we're going to have a gross towing weight of 21,000 pounds and a max tongue weight of 2,400 pounds. So with uh, the torsion system, you are going to need to have at least about 100 and, sorry, 1,600 pounds for the system to properly engage. You want, won't want more than that 200, uh, 2,400 pounds for your 2 and 5 16 inch ball. Otherwise, it'll be too much for the system. You're not going to get that shock absorbing capability. But to help you with that, make sure that you have the proper tongue weight. They do include these tongue weight scales here. Uh, so whichever orientation you're going to have this in, you'll have a tongue weight scale that you can uh, check out. So if I zoom in here, you can see we've got a red, green, and red, and then that white uh, line there. So once you have this all installed, you have your trailer uh, loaded up and connected, uh, you'll want to make sure that that white line is lined up with that green portion of that tongue weight scale to make sure that you're within that proper uh, or optimal uh, tongue weight range uh, so that the, the torsion system will engage properly. And if you're not familiar with the concept of uh, torsion, at each of our pivot points here, uh, we are going to have a square inner bar uh, that's going to connect our multiple pieces. And then we're going to have these rubber uh, cords on all sides there. So as we hit bumps and experience road shock, that inner bar is going to twist, but it's going to, uh, that movement is going to be absorbed by those rubber cords. Um, so it's going to help absorb that road shock, prevent it from transferring from our trailer up to our tow vehicle and vice versa. So it's going to be a much smoother ride for us, uh, absorbing a lot, all that road shock or a lot of that road shock, helping to um, keep our equipment from being uh, too worn out and that sort of thing. It's going to help prolong the life of our trailer and uh, tow vehicle. And one of the nice things about this system is there's very, very little maintenance. So unlike systems that use an airbag where you have to make sure there's enough air pressure in there uh, all the time, this system's kind of like a set it and forget it. Uh, once you get it put on, uh, those cords are gonna do what they need to do to absorb that shock. You're not gonna have to worry about that. Uh, there is a grease zerk on the backside here. If I can uh, tilt this back enough, you might be able to see that. So up here at the top, we're going to have a grease zerk. Uh, so there will also be one on the bottom for that uh, bottom pivot point. So it's going to be very easy to hook up our grease gun, pump some grease in there, make sure everything's well lubricated and moving around. So maintenance is super easy. Also, there's fewer moving parts uh, to this design. So uh, fewer things that you're going to have to uh, repair or replace. So really nice system there to help absorb that shock. Of course, our stacked receiver tubes here are going to allow us to move our ball uh, 
to different positions. So if we're towing different trailers with different ride heights, we can accommodate those, make sure that our trailer is going to stay nice and level. Uh, so each of these receiver tubes is a two and a half inch uh, by two and a half inch receiver tube. So it's going to accommodate our um, ball and pencil lock, uh, as well as your other hitch mounted accessories. Um, but then it's also going to allow you to uh, adjust for the trailer height. So uh, to measure what you're going to need, you'll measure from the top inside edge of your receiver tube, or for us, it's about where that uh, top of the shank is, down to where your coupler is, or up to where your coupler is going to be. Uh, so you want to make sure that uh, you're measuring from your hitch to your coupler. Uh, if we were to put this in the lowest position, our max drop would be right at 12 inches. We could then flip this over, use it in the max rise position, up, and that would give us a max rise of 12 inches as well. So uh, 12 inches in either direction, it's going to give you a lot of adjustability. So if your uh, trailer is uh, up to 12 inches lower than your hitch or up to 12 inches higher than your hitch, uh, this will do a great job of allowing you to uh, tow those different trailers, make sure that everything's going to be riding level. In addition to our heavy duty steel construction, this does have a zinc primer with a powder coat finish. It's going to help resist corrosion. Our hitch ball and pencil lock do have this matte black finish to them. So again, it's going to help with corrosion resistance as well as uh, looking really nice for us. This is J J684 certified, so uh, you can trust it's going to do a good job. It's also made here in the USA, so you can trust uh, it's made to the quality standards that we've come to know and trust for products made here in the U.S. So, uh, like I said, Gen Y does build very robust, very solid, uh, beefy products. So you're not going to want to have to take this off a whole lot, but having all those uh, Stacked receivers is going to make that much easier for you to accommodate um, your hitch mount accessories and adjusting that ball mount for your uh, different height trailers. We do have other very similar uh, setups with the shock absorbing capability that have even more uh, rise and drop. So if you do have an extremely tall truck or a, a trailer that's very uh, far off from where your hitch is, uh, we do have other options. But as long as it's within that 12 inch range, this one will do a great job for you. So that completes our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.